I grew up in Toledo, Ohio, and my father was a neurosurgeon. And so I'm sure that part of my inspiration to become a neurosurgeon and to go into medicine was seeing the satisfaction that he had out of his career. But I also remember that my mother said, well, why don't you go into something like dermatology or ophthalmology, something with less hours? And I thought about that, but once I did get into medical school, I was looking at the treatment of spinal cord injury. It was during that time that I really became interested in surgical treatments of neurological diseases. And I was able to shadow neurosurgeons. And I then went home and went in and scrubbed in with my father and followed him around more closely in his work. And I think that inspired me to become a neurosurgeon. I had the honor of having my father come here and work as a guest faculty member for a period of time while I was a resident, which was a great experience. One of the most exciting things for me in working in a place like Stanford is to be surrounded by very young and enthusiastic and inquisitive minds. Not only do I have the privilege of being able to treat patients, but I have the privilege of being able to train the next generation of physicians. And seeing the medical students, the interns and residents and fellows, and to be able to show them tricks of the trade, but also keep my mind thinking about new solutions because they look at problems from a different perspective. So they're thinking, well, why not this? And it makes us all think and not just look at things from staid old ways.